Hi there, and greetings future software developers. I'm here today with a plug for people who only have a matriculation certificate and who want to make it into the world of software development. The plug is for a three-year-long software development internship opportunity with MIP Holdings. You will be paid during this time period, so you won't be working for free, and the only requirements are that you should be between the ages of 18 and 35 and have successfully completed grade 12, which means that you don't need a degree for this opportunity. I will plug you with the whole application process and help you with the coding challenges. The internship commences in Bryanston, Santon, where interns will complete three months of training. During this time, interns will be taught how to program and write code. This is a wonderful opportunity, and here is some information about the company. MIP is a leading software engineering company. They are one of the world's only software companies delivering solutions across multiple financial service verticals. They have offices in Johannesburg and Cape Town. Hmm, what I am here to plug you with today is the process of applying for the internship. You will have to complete three coding challenges in order to make it through the internship, and I will help you along the way as I'll be posting more videos. Step 1. You need to visit the MIP Holding website. You need to click on the Internship Navigational tab, which will open the Internship webpage. You will be presented with the same information that I have discussed above. Step 2. You need to click on the green button with the text click to start the MIP Internship Challenge. This is the first challenge that you have to complete, and lucky enough for you, I am here to guide you through that process. Step 3. Once you have clicked on the link, the following page will be opened. You need to complete the following puzzle challenge. Yes, it looks hard and scary, but it's very simple, and I am here to guide you through it. Coding challenge. The instructions here are that you need to decipher the given message. The first thing that you need to understand here is that when you decipher the given message, it has to make sense. It has to be a valid English sentence. Step 1. To decipher the message you need to make a list of all the alphabets of the English language, from the letter A to the letter Z, and you need to number them from top to bottom, from 1 through to 26. Step 2. Write down the message that you have been given, that you need to decipher 9, 42, 6, 13, 7, 20, 15, 22, 13, 7, etc. Take this message and group it into cells. <clears throat> Step 3. Use the alphabet table that we drew in step 1 to decipher the message, and here's how we do that. To do that, we need to generate a new table that will contain all the alphabetic possibilities that we can come across for a given number. We start with the number 9. According to our table, the number 9 can either be the letter I or the letter R. And then we do the next number, which is 4. And then we do the next number, which is 26. And then we do the next number, which is 13. And then we do the next number, which is 7. We repeat this process for all the remaining numbers, and this is the end result that we end up with. Step 4. This is the final step. This is where we go and select all the letters that together form a sensible English sentence. I will highlight these in blue. And that's it. We have solved the first challenge. The answer is... I want to... Enter the MIP internship. Step 5. You need to go and fill in the answer in the given input field. Step 6. Enter your details below and you submit the answer. Immediately after you submit this challenge together with your details, you will get an invitation to do another challenge, which I will post shortly. Thank you for your time. Please look out for the next video in which I tackle the next coding challenge.